I named this engine. The men had been working on the new engine for a long time. What's his name? The other engines kept asking. We don't know. It's a secret, was always the reply. Everyone just calls him Number Seven. At last, Peter Sam could contain himself no longer. He asked the Finn controller. The Finn controller smiled. Wouldn't you like to know? He teased. I do. What is it? came a chorus of voices. But I'm not telling. You'll have to wait until the naming party. Ivo Hugh, the railway's chief engineer, was going to do the naming. Even he didn't know the engine's name. But Mr Hugh, you must know, protested Scarlowy. I'm afraid not, laughed Mr Hugh. The name won't be painted until the last minute. It must be a place, or a person, said Sir Handel. To match us, he added. I think it's a place, decided Renius. But why is it a secret? The engines didn't know, but Renius's idea was they thought the best answer. On the great day, a special train was to pick up the Finn controller, his guests, and Mr. Hugh, and bring them to the bottom station for the ceremony. Scar Lowy, as the oldest engine, was going to pull it. The day was sunny. Kathy and Lizzie came early to the shed. First they cleaned Scar Lowy, and then they polished Peter Sam. Scar Lowy whistled cheerfully as he went up the line. And by then, all the other engines looked just as smart as he did. Scar Louis passed the big house where the Finn controller lived and went as far as the middle station. There, he ran round the train and pulled it back downhill. He stopped at the big house and when the Finn controller and his guests were on the train, he stopped again near the cottage where Mr Hugh lived. Scar Louis had just restarted when, with a squealing noise, Something dashed past his front wheels. He stopped quickly. What on earth? demanded the fireman, jumping from the cab. In long grass, beside the line, lay a large mother pig, and frisking about her were seven pink piglets. Clearly, Scar Lowy could go no further until they were safely caught but they didn't want to be caught. Oh dear, fretted Scarlowy, we're going to be late for the party, I know we are. The Finn controller, Mr Hugh, and even some of the guests joined in the pig chase, until at last all the animals had been captured and put carefully back into the field. At the bottom station, a large crowd had gathered, all the engines, except Scarlowy, were there, and number seven, with his name covered, simmered quietly. The minutes ticked slowly by. The manager looked at his watch. Something must be wrong, Rin Renies whispered to Duke. Scarlowy should be here by now. Perhaps the Finn controller wasn't ready, suggested Duncan but was firmly hushed by the others. At last, they heard a whistle in the distance. <whistles> a little later, Scar Lowy puffed thankfully into the station. I'm sorry we're late, Mr Hugh said, but we've been chasing pigs. And he told them all about it. However, he went on, I'm here to name an engine. I don't know what it's called yet, so I shall have to read it to you. I therefore name this engine 
he pulled away the curtain. Bless my soul! No, not that! It's Ivor Hugh! He turned to the thin controller. I am honoured, sir. Thank you, he said. And all the little engines whistled loudly in acclamation. <laughs>